removing the tent from my Honda Fit that I just bought. Came from Indiana, so apparently they allow darker tint. I'm in New York, so we basically don't allow tint. Anyway, I'm removing the tint today. I'm gonna try a couple techniques. Um, on my Subaru, I had a similar situation and I just used Windex and a hair dryer and that left a lot of glue so I'm going to try some different things. The first thing I'm going to try is I just bought one of these hyper tough scrapers, mini scrapers from Walmart. I'm going to peel back a little bit of tint, pull it off, see what kind of glue it's leaving behind. Whoa. It's easier to divide and conquer. Cut a small slit. And then we'll take the scraper, the bottom edge, and we'll kind of rotate it. And that'll give us a nice handle to grab. And then leave it. So, got a nice handle to grab there. And then I'll do the same thing in the other direction. Get our bottom started. Kind of. So, I got it started with the razor blade. If you look close, if we'll focus, you can see that there's some glue right at the top. Maybe if I have it focus over here, see the kind of smudginess at the top. And so the rest of it, I'm just gently pulling. Um, and it's not leaving any glue. Let's see if I pull real hard. Did start to leave blue, I'm not sure if you can actually see the difference. Maybe they applied more glue there, but I'll go back to pulling gently. Yeah, if you pull gently, it seems to try to leave all the glue on the window film. You can see where it's smudgy and then down here it's nice and clear. So I guess the trick here is patience. This is probably going to be pretty hard to do with one hand. But another video I saw online uses one of these clothes steamers. And you steam the window and you peel. And so I'm going to set you guys up hopefully in the seat and we'll see how that does. So, same window, right side I did with the steamer, left side I did without. Right here is where I was pulling fast, you can see the glue there, hopefully. And over here there's pretty much no glue at all. Um, from my experience so far, the steamer makes it pull a little quicker but you're juggling stuff around and as long as you take your time I would say most of the glue will stay behind so if you have a steam around go ahead pull it out and use it if you don't just be patient yeah. um as far as getting rid of the rest of the glue, I'm going to try two things. I'm not sure if you can see. The glue. There you go. You can see the glue there. I'm going to try scraping it with just a scraper. And 
that works, but it's kind of hard. It's, but scraping it without the Windex, it doesn't come off very easy. But once you spray it, it turns into like this gel. And it comes right off. So I guess the moral of this story is even if you leave a lot of glue, just spray it with your Windex and it won't be that bad. No, I just finished. We got a little glue here where I got a little overzealous pulling. Got a little glue. Let's see if I can get it show up. Up here in the corner where I was. It's hard to get because you got to make sure the steam's getting in there. And then up here, got a little bit of glue. But I was very careful near the bottom and this this isn't even glue that's on the outside but there is pretty much no glue along the edges or along the bottom because I took my sweet time pulling and like I said it'll save you a lot of time in the future just pulling nice and slow. So removing window tint from your rear window on some cars they don't have defroster grids but most do so so all these little lines on your rear window they're generally on the inside of the glass which is the same place that the tint is um, so you don't want to damage that. So, one of the things I've heard that can help doing this is you turn on your rear defroster because that's going to heat up the glue. I don't know if it's going to help, but I'm, I don't think it won't help considering how well the steamer seems to be making the job easier, so I assume heat is going to help.
Make sure you have a whole roll of paper towel for this project. You're gonna use a pretty decent amount of it. As soon as that Windex dries, it becomes impossible to wipe this stuff off again. Not sure if I've said this before, but I am not an expert at this. I am a YouTube professional. <laughs> I read online that it generally costs like 25 bucks a window. Don't know if they count those small windows as full windows. I figured I could do it for less than that. My girlfriend needed a steamer anyway, so. So, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I don't get too up close and personal with this back window. So, that's clean enough, it worked well. I don't think I damaged the grid anywhere, so. I'm gonna probably time lapse the other I got the two small windows and the front driver's side window and I should be done. Thank you. 